反者，道之动，《道德经》。The opposite side is how Tao moves. The function of the world lies within the five characters, but the subject of the aphorism seems so ambiguous and yet so indistinct. What is Tao? In short, it's the function and the order of our world. It is omnipresent. There is no need to interpret the,、uh, the concept because no one, utterly no one, has managed to carry out a compatible definition of the simple character. So now, let's assume it functions, or the Catholic function function of things. Now close your eyes and take five seconds to list contrasting contrasting concepts. How many did you get? I wager you've got black and white. The worn out contrast between the two most basic colors. Now hear this: black and white are not colors. Blackness is the vacancy of light, and whiteness is the utmost imper imperviousness of light. Without one another, black wouldn't be black, and white wouldn't be white. They will lie under the broad concepts of vacancy and impermeability. Another more secular and comprehensible example: you wouldn't set up an argument without a pre-existing argument. Have you ever witnessed a madman broaching disputatious argument without pre-existing controversies? Probably not. Well, there's one exemption, that he or she is trying to gain attention and commercialize the argument and are trying to meet their financial needs. For example, there are wicked, hideous people, taunting Kobe Bryant's death, and clicks, uh, and earn clicks and views. However, their misfortunate clicks will not accumulate without the great majority of. Great majority's love toward Kobe and Gigi, and their condolences toward all victims, families, and friends. Again, the opposite shows. The thought is fairly simple and straightforward, but what's the moral? Each person must have their own inter interpretation of it, but its inspiration to me、uh, is to hear from other people, and even if they express the most adverse thoughts, why? Because each and every enterprise. Has its adversaries and hindrances, and one mustn't overlook them. There's a saying in Chinese, "Zhong yan ni er," meaning the most dedicated and constructive feedback are not often to one's tastes. I suffered from not musing others' constructive criticism. My mom used to comment insistently on my eating form. She always got things to say. You stuffed your mouth too full. You swallowed too quickly. You didn't chew enough. Bring your other hand on the table. I I always have overlooked the opposite sides because it kind of gets onto my nerves, and I and my mom have run to serious arguments. Then one day I realized mom has always been correct. I was dining with my teachers at a at school and were discussing serious topics, and of course we ate. The conversation worked out well,、uh, but I didn't get the teacher's support because my eating form wildly disgusted them. I stuffed my mouth to to the level that I cannot talk without blocking the overwhelmingly contracted cavity with my hand to stop the grind of food and liquids from from bulging out, and I and I stuck my face into the food. Man, that's that's hideous. I was bewildered by the teacher's indifference toward、uh, toward me by、um, For my increase after the crisis, because I didn't discover the hideousness of my eating form until my mom forced me to look, look into the mirror while eating. Well, mom will never count up against you. Again, everything has an opposing side, and it wouldn't be it without the opposite. Take time to interpret it yourself and benefit so much from this cradle.